I've been 3D printing for approximately 8 months now, ever since I discovered the world of possibilities that 3D printing combined with miniature making offers. I'm used to working with traditional materials, but this dive into 3D printing turned out to be just perfect fit for someone who loves traditional arts and crafts techniques but is also passionate about technology. I'm making lighting for the home. My inspiration for the lights came from microscopic forms called radiolaria. These tiny sea creatures produce intricate mineral skeletons that come in a vast range of shapes and sizes that I thought would lend themselves perfectly to lighting. It just shows kind of the versatility of 3D printing and all the stuff you can do with it. But growing up in Nigeria, I was told that engineering is for boys. That's why I started volunteering, teaching STEM to girls in rural communities using improvised tools because no girl should miss her potential just because no one believed in her. A huge access gap in African STEM education. Then came the Elego with Her program. It completely transformed my journey. We wanted to make that sort of understandable and accessible to lots of people who use their voice in different ways. Would it be possible to do something like a 3D printed model because it's so much more realistic to what is inside the human body. This project is basically manifesting traditional textile into architecture through new and novel fabrication techniques to bring cultural specificity into architecture. I've lived in India, Tokyo, Frankfurt and Berlin and my dream is to create a 3D printing business that fuses my Indian cultural roots with tech, fashion, travel and whatever my next hobby ends up being. My project is inspired of course by my roots in India and uh, also I was a lot thinking about my grandma and my childhood uh, memories. I wanted to design something that connects us more with nature and forces us to form a relationship with what we're wearing. So I decided to call my project Interspecies Collaboration and the idea was that I was designing for a futuristic dystopian environment. So I thought why not implement this idea and why not use the shapes of sweat and tears to create a nice piece that decorates the Vera with the beautiful outcome sweat and tears can literally bring. I'd like to think of it like something that could be worn by musicians or used in fashion shoots. Most of my work has been digital for a long time. So last year I decided to go offline and turn my ideas into a physical form. I felt like I am myself and people around the connected to tangible objects a lot more than digital pictures and it was just interesting for me to watch them interact. So for this Elego with her project I wanted to challenge myself to print with the materials that were given to me and also to print completely vertical and with a 3D shape. Having an inclusive program run by a company as big as Eluku is powerful. The space felt encouraging, exciting and it's so inspiring to be a part of something that actively champions women. It was super nice to meet so many girls that are into 3D printing and 3D modeling, uh, doing costumes and designs and everything. So amazing, beautiful people in this workshop. It made me feel very at ease that we were exchanging our concerns and thoughts. So what I wanted to say is thanks Elego for all the support for women. It was for me like a great opportunity to meet other people and to understand that you are not alone. As for all of the online workshops, I found them to be super inspiring and seeing that there were so many mentors from different creative backgrounds, I feel like it was really helpful to get their perspective from a broad range of different artistic disciplines. It was really fantastic to be able to expand my understanding of 3D printing and it was a bonus for me as well to challenge my own 3D modeling skills and be able to extend more into kind of that digital world. I think it's definitely something that I will return to. Today, I'm not just teaching STEM, I'm building STEM kits and inspiring the next generation of African innovators. Together, we would shape the future of STEM education in Africa, one classroom at a time. During the Elegoo workshops, I learned a ton from the mentors, mainly about how to kind of manage your files, how to develop files, how to experiment with different techniques and also different infills in the slicer, and also how to make products for businesses. I've just loved getting to know the crazy side of the 3D printing world that exists and meeting all of these insane people that are doing incredible projects. This was a really great opportunity and I'm really thankful because it helped me really understand and get to the core 
how 3D printing and additive manufacturing actually takes place. I'd like to thank Elu and the Elu with their team for this amazing opportunity, as well as all the mentors and the community for their continuous support throughout this journey. Thanks to the wonderful mentors and all the workshops that we had, the other ladies and mentees. With Elegu with her, the support and the encouragement that I got from the other mentees throughout this process was phenomenal. Especially seeing that other people suffered with imposter syndrome like I did, but they encouraged me to keep going anyway and to see my successes rather than my failures. I love that so much. Thank you, Elegu!